Hi, this is Christian. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to, uh, you know, just install the version 5 and then set this up very quickly so you can follow along the video. And so here is my uh, example here. As you can see, if I go to the, um, let me just hide this really quick. If I go to the package JSON, you notice that I do not have the React router dump yet. If you do have it installed already, if you accidentally install it, it should say React Router DOM and then with the version number here, okay? So I'm gonna do that right now. So npm install and then React dash router dash DOM. And I want version five. So you put the at symbol followed by the version number. Just the whole number is fine. What that would do is it will install the latest version, uh, the stable version for version five. So it will be like version five point something, maybe point one or point two or point three. I don't remember which one, but we'll see. And it should update your JSON file. You can see here, it added a version 5.3. So that's the latest, um, the stable version for version five, which they stopped updating since then, okay? So I'm using five now. And then now that's done, then we're going to um, uh, do here. Uh, let me run the app first. Let me clear my console down here. And I'll do a npm start. And that should launch my application. <clears throat> okay. So as you can see, it's once it's loaded. All right, so I basically, you know, display everything here on the um, page here. So I have my home screen here, my home component down here, my app about component, and, and so those two here, okay? So when I go to the about, you will see that the links does change to the slash about because I'm not using the routing yet. So it's still showing the same content. If I go to the flight, it should have the flights and the URL, add, and so on. So notice also that when you click on these links, the screen flickers, right? Or the browser window uh, flashes. You can tell by this, this little um, refresh icon here it actually spins a little bit, you can see, okay? If you see that, notice it's not really smooth and we don't want that. We want things to load uh, very smoothly without refreshing the page because if you refresh the page, all your data is lost. We don't want that, okay? So I'm showing here two components, the, work, the home component and the about component. I'm gonna turn those off so that when you go to the home, it should only show this part. When I go to the about, it will show only this part here, okay? So back in the code here, and let's open up the app.js file. You can see I, I turned this off already, just don't wanna show them all yet. But notice I do have inside here my return on the app. Uh, I have the home component and then I have the about and in the footer and navigation here as well. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is you need to import the browser router. Um, you can, you know, do it here. You can add, you can wrap the router here, or you can also wrap it inside the index.js file, which I'll probably do it this way. It's, it's actually better. So you can wrap the entire application using routes. So up here, I'm going to import um, the, I think it's called the browser. Let's see if you recognize it. Browser router. Yeah, it doesn't recognize it. I believe that is what's called browser router from the um, with the React router down. Okay, from here. And so it, it's very long. So that's why I usually change it to just say do a router as a alias, the shortcut. And then now you can wrap this app tag with a router tag. So now everything is controlled by the route. And with that set up, let me close this down here. If you go back, it, as you can see, it, nothing changes here yet. Everything's still the same, but you see that the links is still flashing. And once you do that, you need to go to each of your navigation links and also anywhere else we use the a, a link and change it to using a different tag called link, okay? So now I'm gonna go to the navigation inside my components, my navigation, and change all these A tag to use the link tag. And you get that again from the router, um, React router. So I'm gonna import the link um, component from the React router down, okay? So now I'm gonna go and change the A tag to use the link and change the href to the word two, 
Okay, and then just make sure you close it down here as well. I do the same down there. I'm gonna copy and paste this quicker down here as well. Close that here and then change that to two. Okay, which I did already skip. Okay, so now if I save and go back to my page, you will see that navigation should be very smooth, right? You see that these changes now, uh, the route changes, the page does not refresh anymore. Okay, so give you that's very smooth transition. But these two are not changing. So you can see it's still flashes. So I'm gonna change that in the home component. And so if I open home component, and again, down here, I have to change this a tag to link. And we're, and also we need to import that in. And change the href to, um, oops, yeah, that's correct. Change the href to two. And this would be two. And then here is also two. And I need to import that from here as well. So import the link, oops, link from the React router now. Okay, so that should fix that one. Okay, so we're done with that one. So now let's go to the route, which is inside this app here. And I need to wrap all these components here, whichever you want to include in the route, uh, inside a route uh, routes pattern. So first, we need to import the um, directives from up here. So we're going to import the routes. I mean, uh, the switch. I'm using the older version, version five, and also need the need the route from the React router now. Lama keyboard, so as you can see, I type very ugly here. Yeah, this is a, a tiny keyboard, which I don't like, but oh well. Okay, so now I'm gonna go and then wrap this whole thing here. I don't want a footer because the footer is not really in a route, right? So just the home from the home, put here the switch, and then close it at the end down here, right above the footer. Okay, and then each of these will be a route. Okay, so inside here, you put here route. <clears throat> As you can see, I can then put my home route inside here like that, right? You wrap it inside here and same thing here. Um, and we're just gonna go and do that right now. Let me do a route here. So now I got my routes for each of these components and they will only load when you match a certain route, a certain path, right? So here, the first path for the home is gonna be set to path equals, the pattern is gonna be a forward slash, okay? That is the home page. If I navigate to the link here, it will show the home page. So for example, if I save it now, I go back to the page, if I refresh it, you will see that all the other things are now gone because I'm, I'm, I'm actually now at the root of the home page, right? If I put a slash, I will see that here. If I go to the flight, you notice it was still, um, it didn't load. It still load the home page, um, for some reason, and it should not do that. But let's see. So the that will load the home. Let's fix all these here. So the path for the flights will be just um, flights for that one, and and this one here. It's add, so I'll call it um, slash add. And then the edit, we need the path to edit, but also with an ID, okay? So edit, and then uh, slash with a colon, followed by the ID key. Now, you use ID, it's just very common. You don't have to use ID, usually whatever you want, okay? But this is important because whatever you said here, you need to do tree that when you load the component. And then down here, finally, we have a path to the about page. So slash about. Okay, so all my patterns are now set. Um, now, if I go back to the browser again, you notice that when we go to the page, it did not load. And so you have to kind of be very, very careful here how you place the order of these routes. Okay, so you notice at the very top, we use the forward slash, and this is like almost like a catch all uh, type of route. So you don't want to put it up in the top here. That means if you put this in the top, then all of these routes will not be reached, 
Okay, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna move this to the very bottom of the list. So I'm gonna just highlight that and use the Alt down arrow to move all the way to the very bottom before the um, right, right before the switch is closed. Okay, so if I save that now and try again, I'm gonna go to my browser. And so you can see that now I'm see the homepage here. If I navigate to the about, and here we go. So things are loaded uh, perfectly as expected.